So what's going on? It's always me, Johnny, and today we are going to compare the new Premiere Pro in better version for the M1 Silicon versus, we can say, the old Premiere Pro that is for the x86 platform. But before, let's roll the intro. <laughs> So, as I was saying before, today we're going to see a little comparison between the two apps for the new Mac. Actually, I did use until now the old, so the oldest version of Premiere Pro that was for the x86 chip. So the actual Intel one, I'm looking right here because I have the Mac right here and it was good. I mean, it runs through the uh, Rosetta 2.0 emulator, we can say it's running good. But sometimes, maybe when you are working with some heavy files and some stuff like that, maybe 4K, like 10 bit, maybe with a high bit rate, you have some lag, you have some problem running those videos. And actually, I've decided to try the beta version of the new Premiere Pro that is actually uh, somewhat optimized for the M1 Silicon. So as I said, this one is still a beta. So you actually have to take this in consideration, like not the final product. So this isn't the final results that we are going to reach with the Premiere Pro, but it's just to compare these two apps and see how it goes. So before we start with the benchmarks, actually, I wanted to tell that I had some problem with the beta of Premiere Pro because one simple thing that it couldn't actually do, it was just importing some MP3 files. So some audio that it was on my project. So I actually had a song on the project and so the project is actually my latest video on the channel so you can check it out right here click on the link and check the video but for some reason i don't know why i think for now it's unknown it couldn't import that file and so i didn't have the song under my final rendered video and so i tried it to import it like outside the project but it didn't work either so i don't know what it is but we're gonna compare it anyway so Let's talk about real performance, so real speed. I do have tested uh, these apps with some normal use, so opening the app and just opening a project and then just scrubbing to the project through the videos and actually just try to render out these videos. And this is how it went. So actually at opening the app, the beta version is actually a little bit faster. I don't know what it is, but for now it seems faster mostly if you consider the first opening when you just take the mac you just open your laptop and you just open uh, premiere pro your first launch of the app it's just much faster on the better version and also scrubbing through the videos you can see here the videos i was recording on my mac so you have to consider that while i was doing that i was also recording some videos so the performance were just a little bit lower than if i did that without recording you know and so i was saying scrubbing through the videos it was actually a little bit smoother on the beta version i think it's like a similar result but it feels like a little bit smoother i don't know what it is you can see here it's uh, both the videos are playing in full resolution so it's just a footage from a gh5s that is recording right now and it's uh, 1080p not too high of a bitrate but it can handle very well so on the videos i didn't have any effect applied or anything you can see there are just some layers above the videos there are like the subscribe buttons and actually some text and you can see under the video the audio and also the song that is missing on the beta version because as i said at the beginning the file failed to import to the app i don't know why i repeat and so we didn't have the sound i mean we didn't have the song under the video it's a simple video so it actually handled well both the apps but i repeat on the beta version it was a little bit smoother for the last thing that i tried right here without applying any effect as i said it was the rendering time so i just rendered these two videos with the same settings it's like pretty much the default for the for the preset of youtube 4k on premiere pro with 40 megabit of a bitrate and i choose like constant bitrate so the video will maintain the same exact quality throughout all the duration you can see it right here i took a screenshot of my phone because i use the stopwatch on my phone just to let you see how they did and so here are the screenshot you can see it on the beta version we have like a minute of a difference it was actually faster and i know that uh, the song it was missing 
on the beta version because it failed to import but i don't know if the difference was given by the missing file or maybe it's just faster i think it's a little bit faster because in the process of rendering you couldn't see it because i just stopped the recording for the rendering because i have to take like the real time of rendering and just show it to you and so while it was rendering both of the times it actually was very fast on the beta version of premiere pro and so i think with a longer video the results are just gonna be the same and so i think in general this new app the optimized one it's in general uh, feels a little bit smoother than the the older one but it's not like a big leap forward it could be because i repeat this one is still in beta so they have much time to just improve the app and just get that better and so we can get better results also but for now there is actually an unstable version it's running pretty good but uh, if we have this major issue like importing a simple mp3 file it's not good i mean you cannot use it for a daily driver i mean for daily editing because you're gonna have some problems of importing or maybe some other thing i've just tried with a simple edit but maybe if I just had it something very complex or maybe difficult to handle, just heavy files or stuff like that, I think that we are going to have some problems on the software. So I think it's going to crash. And so the fact you could not import some files that are not so difficult to find uh, in your project. I mean, uh, .mp3 files, I mean, you have it on every project that you made because if you have a song, it's probably in that format. But anyway, this is a big problem for now. I'm going to test it more, maybe in the future, if they are going to update. I don't know how fast they are updating this app, but I'm going to take a look on this app uh, once in a while. So to see if there are some changes, some good changes, and maybe I'm going to do another video about this more in specific. This was just a little confrontation between the two because I just wanted to see how it will perform against a final app. So it's not an in-depth review of the beta program because we cannot do that. Of course, if it's in beta, we have to still wait for the final version. I hope there will be some more fixes in the future and the app uh, will run uh, just good as the stable version for the Intel version that we have now. And if I know something, something good, I will tell you right on on this channel. So make sure to subscribe right now so you stay updated on those things. And also, I think uh, that was it. This was a quick video on this topic. So let me know if you use maybe this beta program or maybe you still use the final version. And one thing that I can say is thank you for watching this video. And I repeat, subscribe right now if you haven't already, like this video and I will see you in my next video.